An investigation by the Grand Forks Narcotics Task Force involved undercover agents, buys from confidential informants, a search of phone records, and more. On Thursday, three search warrants were served and eight people arrested, all from Grand Forks. Arrested in this case were Ashley Lamangeur, uh, Justin Metcalf, Michael Miller, Jamie White, Madison Obregon, Kayla Bailey, and Kaylee Lemke. Those seven are all facing different levels of a delivery of heroin charge. Demetra Bogard is facing a possession of heroin charge. Can you expect any more arrests out of this or nothing you can talk about yet? Uh, nothing we can get into too much detail on with uh, eight subjects. You can imagine it's a pretty wide-ranging investigation, so more arrests are certainly possible. So, does this problem get better, worse, stays the same? You know, I think as we've said many times before, the uh, opioid heroin problem has certainly gotten worse in the last few years. Uh, okay. Task force is hard at work keeping on top of it as best they can, but it's definitely a, a, an issue. Kind of the last thing here, a lot of those names you see repeat offenders. Yep, some of those names have been arrested before. Okay, and that's kind of the big problem in this? It just keeps happening? Yeah, it's one of the problems. You know, okay. repeat offenders are always... Uh, Always an issue, but like I said, the task force and uh, all the member agencies are hard at work keeping on top of it. Uh, and the last thing, uh, do you see tentacles in this kind of reaching into other towns all the time, Minneapolis and Winnipeg or wherever? Um, yeah, I would say. I don't know those two places specifically, but yeah. clearly it's coming from somewhere and going somewhere. So, yeah, the investigations like this definitely have tentacles in other areas. 15 grams of heroin was seized in conjunction with these arrests that has an approximate street value of $9,000. Police say the investigation into these individuals and their associates is ongoing. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.